Before the white coats, before the hospital walls, Africa had its healers. They walked barefoot through forests, spoke to leaves like kin, listened to the language of bark and soil. They were not doctors, but guardians of the sacred. In Mali, the Dogon brewed roots that calmed spirits. In Congo, tree bark soothed malaria's fire. In South Africa, Umplonyane cured fevers long before artemisinin had a patent. Grandmothers with weathered hands crushed herbs with rhythm past knowledge in whispers, but they were dismissed, called primitive, their cures called superstition. Now Western labs study what was once scorned. They extract, bottle, rebrand, and call it discovery. Yet Africa remembers. Our cures were never lost, only ignored. Today a revival blooms. In Nigeria, herbal centers rise. In Ghana, traditional healers work alongside hospitals. In Madagascar, native plants are studied, not stolen. This is not folklore, it is phytoscience. It is wisdom rooted in thousands of years. For every capsule born in Europe, there is a leaf in Africa that whispered it first. Africa's healing is not just physical, it's ancestral. It touches spirit, mind, and memory. Because to heal a people, you must know their pain and their plants. The future of medicine? It's not only in test tubes, it's in forests, it's in the hands of the midwife, the chants of the Sangoma, the garden behind your grandmother's hut. Africa is not waiting for validation. We are reclaiming what was always ours, sacred soil, sacred science, a healing that grows from the ground up.